brave. You must not know who we are, eh? I don't care who you think you are. You can't threaten little kids. So you think you're pretty tough, eh? This little brat just hit my pal in the face with that toy. So we're going to teach him a lesson. Can't you just leave him alone? He's just a kid. Hey, you're kind of cute, babe. Wouldn't you like to party with us? Get away from me. Don't fight it, babe. We'll be gentle. Don't you dare lay a finger on me. This will be fun. Nozomi. Ryo. What? Are you looking for a fight? Any time. Were you? Come on, loser! Ha! Come on! Both of you, stay away from her, understood? Uh, yeah! Okay! Uh. Thank you, Ryo. Thanks, Theo! Nozomi, you've got to be more careful. They were going to hurt him. I know, but you can't reason with those guys. But... Just do it for me, okay? Okay. Dear son, I'm all right, but Hasuki Sensei. My father? No intention of telling you. Never tell. No, don't hand over the mirror. the cherry tree. 
Do you remember Chao Sun Ming? Chao? That's the name of the man you killed in Moon Swoon. It can't be you! Get up. I'll allow you to die like a warrior. Yeah! Oh, father! Bendy Sama, we have it. Father. Forgive me for leaving you alone. What, what are you saying? Father! Your friends keep friends. Those you love close to you. No. Father. No! Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you all right? Mm, yes, but I must keep busy. Otherwise, I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. Is everything okay, Rio son? Yeah. Hey, I want to ask you about that man. That man? That man named Landy. What did he talk about with my father? Landy demanded the mirror from him. And then I was thrown out of the dojo. And those men in the black suits? Did you catch their names? Well, I never heard any names. I see. Thanks, Fuxan. If you remember anything at all, please tell me. Ryo-san? Ryo-san! Where are you going? You're not going after them. Please, don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah. It wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. 
Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo? Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. Hey, Ryo! Tom, tell me about those men in the black suits. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. Right, man. I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? Right, man. I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green, maybe velvet or silk, like something Chinese. That's Landy. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah. I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. Um, are you to you, son? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel. Or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. What? Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Hey, Rio. I can't serve you alcohol, but uh, have a seat. Thanks. So, what's up? Saijo-san, do you know any places where sailors like to hang out around here? You say sailors, but you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Right. Try the MJQ Jazz Bar or Heartbeats Bar. Is that where they go? But you best be careful. I hear they run with a dangerous crowd. Excuse me. Yeah? What? Those men over there, are they sailors? Who knows? Why don't you ask them yourself? But don't start anything. Got it? Okay. Got a minute? Hey, the kid's saying something. Are you guys sailors? Mm, could be. Hey, kid. How about a game? Game? You sink the ball in one shot, you win. And I'll answer your questions. But you miss, I win. Buy me a bourbon, okay? You're on. Just have to make the shot, right? Unbelievable, man! The deal was I make the shot and you tell me what I want to know. Are you guys sailors? Nah, we're base workers. Them broke sailors drink at the Heartbeats Bar. Heartbeats Bar. Get out of my way. What? Go home! 
Hey, you! Chew! Welcome. There you go! Milk's perfect for a schoolboy, I'd say! <laughs> Are those guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off! You little punk! You looking for some of this? Huh? <laughs> you stupid! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? Huh? <laughs> it's him! Oh no! Uh, uh, I'm out of here! Have you come for a tattoo? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. He's over there. He's sleeping. Wouldn't wake him, unless you want to get hurt. I want to know about the cartel. I don't know! Hi, Ryo. Nozomi, what are you doing here? Class just got out. You shouldn't be around here. But I was looking for you. Oh? My friend said she saw you down here. But why? Today we had our college orientation, but you weren't there. Yeah. Have you decided where to go? Not yet, but if I go, it'll have karate. It's about time you started studying for the entrance exams. Yeah, I know. I'm worried about you, and with exams... I'll be fine. Ryo, I understand what you're going through with your father and all, but... We can talk about it later. Promise? Yeah, it's dangerous here. You should go home. See you later. My father killed someone. A letter? To my father? This came right after Hazuki Sensei passed away. I had a bad feeling about it, so I felt I should keep it hidden until today. This letter's in Chinese. But you can't read it? No, we can't. Oh, but Guangji might be able to. He's good with kanji characters. I see. Can you translate this letter for me? 
Oh, these kanji are weird. I can't read them. Really? I'm sorry. It's okay. Wait! My Japanese teacher's a uh, kanji expert. Show her it. May I help you? Excuse me, are you Xiao-san? Yes, that's right. And you are? I'm Ryo Hazuki. Ah, uh, Hazuki-san? Oh yes, my grandson. Go and told me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. The other day you helped him at Sakura Gaoka. Oh, I remember. He was so excited when he told me. He now aspires to grow strong and brave, just like you. It was nothing, really. <laughs> so, what brings you here? Well, I have a letter I'd like you to translate. Okay, reversed kanji. Reversed? Yes, but they aren't just reversed left to right. They're written in a special style. Could you read it for me? Yes, of course. Beware of those who pursue the mirror. If you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. Ju Yuan Da. Ju Yong Da. Master Chen? Oh, there's something written on the back, too. Tian Ji Fu, Jiao Tao Long, Ti Ji Mu, Wo Da Yo. What does it mean? Father's Heaven, Nine Dragons, Mother's Earth, Comrades. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I understand. But I think this part may be a phone number. These ancient characters are numbers. A phone number? Yes. 04686156647. 04686156647, right? I've got it. Hello? Warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? You. Who are you? Isn't this the Chen residence? I have a letter from a man named Zhu Yong Da. Oops. That's warehouse number eight. Just who are you? Don't you know that blackmail is way uncool? Eh, you Hazuki from Sukahai. Yeah. So what? Uh, Hazuki. 
I ain't afraid of him. I could take this geek. You've had it now! Oh! Pretty tough after all. What? What? I have a question. Sure, what is it? Warehouse number eight? Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Security guards. I can't let them catch me. Yes, this is warehouse number eight. Wait, Guizan. What? Mr. Chen. Master Chen? You are the young man who has called? Yes. Ryo Hazuki. This says, if you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. May I look at the letter? Sure. Yes, this is Zhu's handwriting. But it appears this letter arrived too late. Yes. This Zhu Yonda, how does he know my father? Zhu and your father brought back a certain mirror from China. The mirror? The one that man stole? It was stolen? Yes, the man who killed my father, Lan Di. Lan Di. Do you know him? Well, I know of him. An organization called Qi Yo Men. Its leader goes by that name. I hear he's a master of a deadly martial art. Yes, he used a style I've never seen. I think we mean the same person. What does this mean? Please tell me why my father... You needn't tell this boy anything, father. Father? No, I'm bound by my promise to Zhu Yuan Da regarding this boy's father. But... but... Was only one mirror stolen? Huh. I'm asking if only one mirror was stolen. Yes, made of stone, a dragon design. If so, then there's one more. I believe the phoenix mirror. Phoenix? A mythical bird of Chinese legend that guards human life. That mirror? My house? Perhaps. Find it, and then we'll talk. Hello? Ryo. Nozomi, what's up? I want to talk to you about something. Can we meet? Yeah. At Sakuragaoka Park? I'll be waiting. Yeah. All right. Ryo. Nozomi, what's the matter? Sorry to call you out. It's okay. I had to talk with you alone. But with all the problems you've been having, 
Is it so important? For me, yes. Do you have time to talk? Yes, but I can't stay long. I know. You see, I... I'd wanted to wait until things settled down before I told you. But I can't wait any longer. I just can't... Can't hold it in. I'm sorry. Nozomi. It's about my feelings for you, but... If I don't tell you now, I feel like I'll miss my chance to... Has something happened? Last night, my mom called from Canada. My father is insisting that I return. So you're leaving soon? I don't know when, but... I can't go without letting you know how I feel. I know. Huh? But right now, I... I don't really know how I feel. I understand. When you're ready, tell me. I will. I'm sorry I called you out. Nozomi, don't forget to say goodbye. <laughs> See you. I... I'm sorry for making you worry so much. Ryo-san, I don't know if this will help or not, but there was one thing I recall. It wasn't that long ago when... Azuki sensei went to an antique shop to have something stored for him. My father did what? I don't know what it was, but he said it was very important. Antique shop. That's a delightful sound, don't you agree? It was made especially for that butterfly woman. You know, Madam Butterfly, don't you? You. Your Hazuki Sensei's. Oh my, that was a terrible thing. Your father. Ah. I was holding something at Sensei's request. Hmm, just where did I put it, huh? Oh, yes, it was very important, so I put it here. He'd asked me to polish and look after it for him. For my father? It's given to the Hazuki heirs once they turn 18. I gather this antique has been passed down from generation to generation. Father. Yeah, it opened. Huh? This sword, it has... That shape. Why is that here? Okay.
Okay. Oh. Wow, so it was a switch. I wonder where this leads. These scratches must be from the shells. Listen. Different sounds. This is it. This is the Hazuki family crest. This box. Got it. It's the Phoenix Mirror. Thanks for your help the other day. But, can I ask for your help with one more thing? What is it? It's about this mirror. Can you tell me anything about it? Let me see it. This is a very unusual mirror. It's called the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix. In China, the phoenix is the legendary bird of fortune. It's a guardian for the Sky Lord. Guardian? The other guardian is the dragon. A dragon? In China, people consider the North Star to be the Lord of the Sky. Look there. That is an old Chinese map in stone, see? It's a map of the Big Dipper from the Han Dynasty. On a moonless night, should you pray to the stars, your wishes shall be realized. The Big Dipper revolves around the immovable North Star. In China, the North Star is highly respected. For ages and ages, people have worshipped it. In China, there are numerous fascinating legends about the stars. I see. Thank you very much. Yamagashi san. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Indeed. You may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Yamagashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques, just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? <laughs> Landi Sama, the Phoenix Mirror? <laughs> Yes. 
Yes, it's made of Phantom River stone. Why did Landy only steal the Dragon Mirror? He probably didn't realize your father had both of them. Two mirrors. A long time ago, Ju Yuan Da once told me, when the dragon and the phoenix meet, the gates of heaven and earth will open, and Qi Yu will resurrect itself on earth. Qi Yu? It's a legendary Chinese monster that will devour this world of ours. It appears Lan Di will try to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know, but you mustn't allow him to get that mirror. Be careful and stay alert. If he finds that mirror, it will be the end of you. Huh? Oh, Hazuki, push that button. Thanks. Is it the work of the Mad Angels? Mad Angels? We always have trouble with that gang. Those dirty bastards. That thing was probably connected to the Chi Yo Men. The Chi Yo Men? Yes, the Chi Yo Men and Mad Angels are linked. Perhaps they are the ones who guided Lan Di here. So, if I find the Mad Angels, I'll find Lan Di. Nah, he's likely not here anymore. Then where did he go? Well, maybe he has already gone to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? I have a request. Request? What is it? Please help me get to Hong Kong. If so, then what? I'll find Lan Di. And then? And then, he'll kill you. He's too strong. What did you say? Stop it. I must avenge my father's murder. Huh. How admirable. But you don't stand a chance. Well, if it was you... Suppose your father was murdered. What would you do? Please, help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's go, Gui Zhang. Master Chen, please wait! You should not waste your life on revenge. Cherry blossoms fall. The dragon shall descend on you. Hurry. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. A dream? Ah. Uh. Be right there. Excuse me. Wait a minute. I want to finish this. Um, excuse me. Didn't I just tell you to wait a minute? I want to go to Hong Kong. The pamphlets are over there. Find one. Decide. 170,000 yen. Any others? Jeez, what a pain in the... I'm looking for a cheap fare. Uh, here it is. This is the cheapest we got. 
158,000 yen? Is there anything cheaper? No, that's it. Okay, thanks. Ah, uh, guess Hong Kong's out. Yo, dude! Oh, you. Seem a bit blue, my man? Got a problem? Then I'm your man! Yeah, right. I know everything about this here harbor! Whatever it is, just ask! I... want a job here. What should I do? So wanna be a sailor, hey? That's cool, man! Personally, it ain't for me. <laughs> I get seasick. <laughs> Enough. Whoa, 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 wait, hold up. I'll help you, man. I just happen to know a number of foremen in charge of cargo. Really? Hey, anything for you, bro? Can you ask? Ooh, well... Mm. Okay, meet me at noon tomorrow in front of the big blue door of warehouse number one. You, uh, ever drive a forklift? No, sir. Uh, well, break something, it'll be deducted. I see. Hey, Mark! Come here a sec. Okay, boss. Okay, Mark will take it from here. Right. Mark, show him how to drive the forklift. Okay, boss. Hello, I'm Ryo Hazuki. Hey, man, I'm Mark. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Driving the forklift, it's easy. You'll get the hang of it real quick. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, boy. You working hard, eh? What? You ain't paid your insurance. That ain't right. Law of the Harbor dictates all rookies gotta pay insurance. You know what I'm saying? What insurance? I said pay up, boy. Right now. You guys mad angels? Defiance ain't a good idea. You don't pay up, boy. I'm gonna kick your ass. No way. You are gonna regret that decision. Let's get him! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! All right, you two. No! The Mad Angels. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Are you crying? No. I'm so embarrassed. Problem with your mom? Yes. She'll stay here, but she says I have to go there. I see. It's her family home. She's worried about Grandma, so she's staying. You don't want to be with your father? It's not that. I just... I don't want to be away from you. I, um... Please, just for a while, stay with me.
Christmas is already over. We didn't get to celebrate together. Nozomi. Stay with me for a while. Fuxan, we haven't sparred in a while. How about it? Sure. No holding back, okay? All right, let's go. Hey! <laughs> when did you learn that move? That was a good one. You've gotten better. How about this? Hey, my luck. You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chen's men? I don't know any Chen. Oh! Oh, really? I don't know. Oh. oh. Hey, quit lying! Yeah! Cut it out! Oh, remember this. Thank you, Dio. Who were they? They were the mad angels. Why are the mad angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chen and the Mad Angels. Hey, look! It's Schoolboy! You guys. What the hell are you doing here? Children shouldn't play around with forklifts. You might get hurt, you know. Ah. Move it. You hurt us, you're fired. Ha! Ha! Nice taxi you got here. Take me on home, okay? Get a move on. Whatever. Hey, cut it out! Joke's on you, schoolboy! That's it. You're mine. It's showtime! Mad Angels. Those guys are at the back of warehouse number 17. Number 17? Yeah, at the back of the warehouse. You lying? If you don't believe me, go see for yourself. <coughs> You never know when to give up, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. Like that'll be real helpful. You couldn't even handle the Mad Angels, much less take on Landy. 
First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick! This is called a swallow dive. Why teach me that move? You're intent on going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Even knowing that you may die? No matter what. So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why. Goro, what happened? I was just walking with that sailor guy. He... Hey, schoolboy! Come on! <laughs> you! Oh, bro! So you showed, eh? You guys again. What's your problem? Better be you! you say? Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. What? We're gonna go after your family and friends. Gonna get them. That's it. <sighs> it's them. Got a question. Hey! Uh, hey, wait! Ha, help! Uh, 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 Who is the boss? It's t t Terry! Terry? Please! Don't tell no one! I told you! Or, or they'll kill me! Please! Where's Terry? I. I don't know. Even I don't know where he's at. <sighs> Nuo-san, you're home. Oh, hi, Ine-san. Were you just with Nozomi-san? No. Something happened to her? Well, Aida-san just phoned. And it seems Nozomi-san hasn't come home. What? Nozomi-san said she was meeting you. Aida-san said she can't reach Nozomi-san. Hello? It's real. <laughs> Terry's waiting. Who is this? Here, yeah, meet up behind warehouse number 17. Don't, Rio! It's a trap! Nozomi! If you don't show, I'll make her cry. <laughs> Don't you dare touch her! I'll give you four hours! Or else! Behind warehouse number 17! <laughs>
Looks like we got a rat, eh? <laughs> you made it, huh, boy? Where's Nozomi? What's your hurry? Have some fun with us. Yeah! <laughs> 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 I got you now. Enough. Aw, oh, Terry, let me have some fun. I haven't had enough fun yet. Hey, you play with him. Uh, that's okay. I'm cool. Oh, no, Ryo. Nozomi. Are you all right? Yes, I'm sorry, I... It's okay. It's all my fault. Yeah, it's all your fault. So you're Terry. <laughs> you're the tough little schoolboy, huh? Here you messed up some of my boys pretty good. If I let you go, schoolboy, it sets a bad example. I'm taking Nozomi home. Sure, you can, but... It's gonna cost you. What? My deal is, you gotta beat up Chen's son. Make it so he can't walk. Kuizong? Ah, uh, so you know him, huh? Why him? He's in my way. Your way? As long as Chen's around. We won't be able to gain total control of the Hong Kong route. All right. Ryo, don't! But one more condition. Oh, yeah? You take me to Land D. What do you say? I know you're the one that guided Land D. Well, there's more to schoolboy than meets the eye. You take me to Land D, then it's a deal. Phew. Fine by me, but only after you take out Guiza. Don't forget! Hey, I ain't no street punk. When Terry of Yakuska speaks, he means what he says. I'm taking her home. Fine. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Hmm. But I won't let this go.
That boy you fought with, what is he to you? A friend from school. And what is a friend? Well, a friend is a friend. That's right. Just as a parent is a parent, a friend is nothing other than a friend. But listen, Ryo. Parents often die before their children. Oh. That's the law of nature. Uh, uh. Friends will be there for you even after parents die. So treasure your friends. And friends you can trust are true friends indeed. Understood? Wait here. Is Guizong coming here? He passes through here on his way home from work. Hmm. Here he comes. I'm out of here. Hazuki, why are you here? Guizong, I want to fight you. What? What are you talking about? Ready? What? Guizan, pretend to lose. Say what? Terry will take me to land D. You trust a punk like Terry? You know, you're not too bad. Uh, nor are you. It's my lucky day. I'll get rid of both of you at one time. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Hey, can you move? Uh, let's settle our dispute later. That's low, Terry. I will make you pay. <laughs> you like me that much? Let me invite you to hell. Wait! Huh? Is Trouble your middle name? Save your complaints for later. Fine. Watch yourself. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. 
it on. This one is mine. This who the hell you think you're dealing with? I'll take this. Gotta learn to fight fair. Lanty. Never give up to you. Tell me! That creepy skinhead, he took him out to the ship. What? Too bad, huh? You, you want him that bad? You better start swimming. Damn. Still didn't get Landy. You're going after him? Well, I just can't give up. But how can I? I'll talk to my father. Hmm? I'll ask my father to help you out. Really? Contact me later, okay? Guizan. What? Thank you. No. Azuki. That's my line. Yo-san! Hmm? Here, it's for you. From Ine-san, and it's not much, but from me. Oh. Fuxa. Take care, and come back in one piece. follow the path of a warrior, must be ready to die in order to stand by their convictions, live for one's convictions, die for one's convictions, 
That is how I lived my life. Ryo, it is up to you to discover your path and follow it through. Your foolishness knows no bounds, eh? Thank you for arranging my trip to Hong Kong. You're too reckless. It worries me, so... I'm going with you. What do you mean? I cannot allow you to go alone. Besides, we also need to know what Lan Di is doing. That's the gist of it. Look out! Ah! Behind you! You're not going to Hong Kong! Because the Great Chai will defeat you! You cannot travel injured. It's my fault. Don't worry. This injury will heal soon. Go on ahead. Kuisa. Don't worry about my son. At the moment, I don't know where Ju Yuenda is. Instead, I will introduce you to someone I know can be trusted. Tao Li Shou, one of Hong Kong's elder masters. The address is in here. Thank you very much. Nozomi. Oh, Ryo. I scared you? No, just spooked. You know, it's kind of funny. Funny? See, I was just making a wish for you. And you suddenly appeared. A wish for me? You are going to Hong Kong, aren't you? How did you know? I finally made Fukusan tell me. You've been so preoccupied lately. Is that so? I won't stop you. 
I know you well enough to know I can't. Here, take this amulet. I'm hoping it will keep you safe. At least that's what I've been wishing and willing it to do. Nozomi. I'm so glad I was able to give it to you. I've been so busy lately. Getting ready to return to Canada. I... Oh yeah, you're leaving for Canada soon. Well, I gotta go home. Yeah, well, be careful. Okay. We're both leaving Japan. I wish we had more time. shall appear from a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. His courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity, I await whilst praying. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins.